we interrupt our regular program schedule to bring you a special report from ABC News. Good evening. Early this morning, President Clinton announced a curfew which will be put into effect in major cities across the United States. New York, Miami, Los Angeles, and more to follow. To enforce this curfew, military forces have been setting up shop in cities across the country. Troops marching in column, tanks rolling through avenues. This morning, the president had this to say. The Knox event is contained, but its panic and confusion are not. We wanted to establish facts, but public alarm has not provided enough time. From 6 p.m. tonight, there will be curfews in some of our biggest cities. This is for your protection. Please do not leave your house. Please have faith in both our military and emergency services. I ask our journalistic community to report responsibly. We are examining all potentialities. And to add another event to today's growing list, outrage during a chaotic press conference with acting press secretary Robert Grafton, in which he announced the limited evacuation of the Louisville area. The evacuation will be handled under federal emergency guidelines. We will have further briefings as the situation resolves itself. Thank you. Judge Matt Hass on Triple N, the voice of reason. Yes, I saw the pictures. We got the facts. Horrifying pictures handed to Triple N reveal brutality inside the exclusion zone. We can't show the image, but at least one person suffering from the infection has attacked another, viciously, orally, while sustaining terrible wounds himself. We at Triple N stand here thinking the same as you. Why weren't we told? I thought it might be doctored. Then. Then a guy brought us a copy of the original. What you're seeing is an edited version. So what do I think? Horrified and sad. Sad we weren't told. Sad that this happened to good people. We should have been told this was happening. One fact remains, that this event was stopped in its tracks. You may not agree with the Army's decision, but their actions speak for themselves. That was Judge Matt Hass. Good evening, you're on Triple N. The curfew begins at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please stay in your houses. Further curfew information will be given on local programming channels. The pictures that came in soon after. The astounding live coverage as a city was plunged into chaos. Evacuate your homes as safely and as quickly as possible. Ma'am, we're evacuating this part of the city. If you get your valuables, you your possession. A nightmare come true. And amid the panic, there was violence. One man shot another motorist who had rear-ended him. Looting was widespread as the city emptied out. And many of those who tried to leave found themselves blocked at every turn. In a scene that reminded many of the refugees from Poland in 1939, thousands of people were forced to carry their belongings out of the city on foot, dragging wheelbarrows, hand carts. It continued throughout the night. I think we have to ask ourselves, what does the government know that would suddenly make it change its course and order the unprecedented evacuation of an entire city RBS News coverage of the events of this extraordinary day will continue.